and what's going on in China, their deflation passing it on to other countries, that the combination of those, we're going to be surprised moving forward by looking at the inflation numbers in the US and probably even the UK. So it's a really interesting point. I think China is a is one of the it's it's interesting how we have so much happening right now with the Fed, with inflation, with AI. Mm -hmm. China, I think, in some ways has been kind of pushed away a little bit mentally for a lot of investors. But yeah. you have to remember that a lot of the commodity prices are reflection are a reflection of what's happening with the global economy. It's certainly with the expansion in China. I'm concerned yeah. when I'm reading more articles recently talking about the China economic slowdown, talking about, mm. you know, it, it, huge infrastructure spending that now, you know, certainly would be described as excessive, I would say, by most by most, uh, you know, people. So, you know, I think that is a challenge, right? Basic materials are needed when you're building out a lot of things. And so if that is kind of stalling out in one of the largest economies and, and most growing economies in the world, I think that's uh, I think that's a bit of a concern. I, you know, the fact that China has had this run of expansive growth, if that would really, you know, continue to, to slow down and we would see more signs of weakness, I think that has ripple effects that a lot of investors probably are underappreciating. Um, and that's one of those sort of, um, I think, underappreciated uh, uh, themes that, that could be a, a big narrative uh, here going forward, for sure, going into year end, especially.